Hey everybody, this is Keith here of Euphoria Pictures. Welcome back to my channel. Right, so this is going to be a simple haul video. I'm just going to be showing off my recent pickups that I've gotten in the last week or two. It's not too many. I think there's around maybe six or seven movies. And I thought, why not put it together in one video and just share my thoughts on these movies? And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm not going to waste any time. I'm going to jump right into this. And I'm going to start with my first pickup that I got. And it is a 101 Films edition of Cherry Falls. Now, I have to admit, when I seen this back in the day, I didn't, I didn't particularly enjoy it, if I'm completely honest. But I felt, why not give it another? go on blu-ray i got it for around five euro i thought it was worth taking the gamble and look it's a it's a very uninspiring slasher movie i'm not going to lie about it i think the director thought they were being very smart by the way they, what they come up with the concept of this movie like having the killer kill nothing but virgins and uh, i'm not kidding you, so there's actually a scene in this movie where the entire school will get together and have this big orgy just so they can get off the killer's list and uh, yeah i just found the movie to be very stupid now it's not meant to be it is meant to be a very dumb slasher movie, but at times it does take itself too seriously as well. And uh, look, I was happy that I actually revisited the movie. It's not the worst thing I've ever seen, uh, but like I said, it is kind of uninspiring if I'm completely honest. Uh, it does have a cast of Brittany Murphy and Michael Bean, and I think Michael Bean can do better than this movie if I'm completely honest. So uh, yeah, that is my first pickup. That is Cherry Falls. Actually looks very good, the Blu-ray of that, by the way, in case he's out wondering. So uh, up next, uh, I have a movie here that I haven't seen yet. I only just got it in the last couple of days. And uh, I know the cover very well from back in the day, but i never seen the movie before. So it is uh, 976 Evil. Now, the only thing I know about this movie, I kid you not, is the director, which is directed by Robert England. I know nothing about the movie. I actually remember this cover here. Uh, that one there. Uh, and when I seen this online, I was like, you know what? It's one of them movies that kind of passed me by. It's kind of fall, fallen through the cracks over time. And uh, yeah, I took a gamble on it. It didn't cost a whole lot to get it either. And then it came with this gorgeous looking slipcover uh, from Eureka. And uh, this is the first Eureka pickup that I've gotten in, wow, it must be at least a year. So uh, it was nice to actually get it. And uh, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, uh, the movie will be enjoyable. So anyone out there that has seen this movie, uh, please uh, leave a comment down below and just let me know what I'm getting into. Again, I have no idea what this movie is about. I didn't even check out the trailer to it. So this is a complete and utter blind buy. Fingers crossed, I found a little gem here. So uh, yeah, that is uh, 976 Evil. I have to keep checking it to see the name of the movie. So uh, yeah, fingers crossed that's going to be a good one. Right, so up next, I have got uh, Megan. So this is the first time that I've seen this movie. I never went to see it in the cinema because my expectations were somewhat low for it. Now, I don't know why that is. Because it's actually produced by James Wan. It's actually written by him as well. And of course, it's a Jason Blum horror movie. And uh, yeah, I just thought it was going to be a run-of-the-mill kind of, you know, serial killer doll movie. And for the most part, it is. But taking nothing away from the movie, it actually is incredibly enjoyable. I had such a fun time with it. Uh, I actually really enjoyed the character herself, Megan. As a matter of fact, the entire cast was fantastic in it. And uh, I'm intrigued to see where they're going to go with this franchise because I'm sure it's going to have a sequel because it made a killing at the box office. Now, this version is the uncut version where they add in kind of a lot of violent scenes. Now, I don't need violent scenes in my movies to enjoy them, but I think people out there might appreciate one or two of the scenes that they actually put back in here some of the violent scenes that they put in there was one in particular I found to be quite brutal and uh, yeah again like I said very curious to see where they're going to go with this as for the picture quality in this this is a blu-ray edition I'm not sure why it didn't come out in 4k because like I said it was very successful now I can tell you is this is one of those blu-rays that makes me question 4k because I can tell you now, if this does come out in 4K, there is no way I'm picking it up because this looks perfect. I can't imagine 4K doing anything at all in terms of 4K quality uh, over this picture. It just looks stunning. It really, really does. And uh, yeah, if you're into these kind of movies, I think you're going to be impressed by Megan. Right, so up next, I picked up uh, Pump Up the Volume. Now, I can't stress how excited I was to see this movie on Blu-ray because the last time I seen it was probably back in the VHS days. And uh, I, loved them. I loved this movie then. I still love it now. But if you haven't heard of this movie, it stars Christian Slater. And uh, he's this new kid that moves to this new town. Uh, and he's a very quiet student. He keeps to himself. But at night, he is this foul-mouthed DJ who host this pirate radio station and he kind of uncovers this corruption that's going on in his school 
And I have to tell you, it's a wonderful movie. He is phenomenal in this movie. One of my favourite performances by Christian Slater. And it has a wonderful soundtrack as well. Some very unique sound of music, has to be said. And uh, if you have not seen this movie, and if you are a fan of Christian Slater, I can't stress... Uh, how much you should pick this movie up and if you can get it on blu-ray because it actually looks quite decent and uh, I have to tell you is what a fun time to actually revisit this movie and uh, the only downside to it is the fact that there was no special features on it I would have loved to have seen a making of them um, it's a shame we didn't get it but yeah this was a real treat so uh, yeah pump up the volume uh, definitely recommend checking that one out so I actually picked this up a while back and I actually forgot to mention it in, my, uh, in, in any of my videos. So it is uh, Friday the 13th Part 4, the final chapter. And uh, as you can see, this is a Steelbook edition of it. Now this is apparently newly remastered for Blu-ray. Now I honestly don't know, is this the same master that you get with the Scream Factory release? I, I didn't do comparisons on it. But I have to tell you, is, uh, this collection is shaking, shaping up to be quite decent. Uh, you know, and I'm hoping Paramount continue this. I can only imagine what it's going to look like when you have a complete collection of Friday the 13th movies on Steelbook. And as you can see, they're sticking to the original artwork as well. And I'm hoping, fingers crossed, they keep these coming. But it's, uh, it's one of my favourite Friday the 13th movies, believe it or not. It's the movie that um, introduced us uh, to Corey Feldman. And uh, it's actually the first time we get to hear Tommy Jarvis's character as well, which he got he heavily featured in other movies after this one. So uh, yeah, I had a fun time with this. It actually looks amazing on this Blu-ray as well. So uh, great to finally pick this steelbook up. And uh, like I said, I'm hoping Paramount continue this run. Right, so up next, I was meant to actually do an individual video for this movie, but I couldn't find the time to do it, unfortunately. So it is a deep impact on 4K, and uh, it's such a wonderful movie, this. Now, I don't know about the rest of you, but I actually missed the days when two similar movies uh, used to rival each other at the box office. You know when you had Deep Impact versus Armageddon, Volcano versus Dante's Peak, Mars Attacks versus uh, Independence Day. I miss them days, they should really bring them back. Now I have to admit, this fit movie is the more grounded version of the two. And uh, I had such a wonderful time with this movie. As for the 4K transfer on this, it looks amazing, it really does. There does seem to be an added little bit of sharpness to the picture. But it's not going to ruin it for you. It looks, it looks pristine. It really, really does. It is ultra sharp, incredibly vibrant. And uh, wow, what a beautiful way to revisit this movie. The only downside is when you actually do see that title wave sequence, uh, you can really see the, downs, the downgrade in uh, picture quality. But unfortunately, it just couldn't be helped. But uh, it still looks great. And uh, again, if you haven't seen this movie, or even if you have, uh, I recommend checking it out on 4K. I think it's going to blow the socks off you. So uh, yeah, that is Deep Impact. Right, so this is my last pickup for this video, and uh, it is Flashdance on 4K Blu-ray. And as you can see, this is a rather beautiful looking Steelbook edition of it. Now, this was the first time that I've ever seen this movie. I don't know why I was put off watching this movie, because I had it in my head that it was going to be somewhat similar to Dirty Dancing or Footloose. And I have to tell you, I couldn't have been more wrong. Uh, it doesn't feel like any of them movies, if I'm completely honest. Now, I have to admit, I wasn't a fan of this movie. I didn't enjoy it. And maybe it's because that's where my head was. I thought it was going to be like them movies. But now that I know what it is, maybe it needs a revisit. And hopefully in time, uh, I will grow to appreciate this movie. Uh, there's things in it I didn't like. The, the whole romance, romantic side to this movie, uh, her and her boss that she works for, I didn't like his character and I just didn't care about their romance that was going on. But the one good thing I can say about this movie is herself. She is fantastic in this movie and I think at the time when it came out uh, there was a serious buzz surrounding this girl. You know there's a lot of dancing going on in this movie. You can clearly see that she's doing it. And uh, that is the one saving grace to this movie. But like I said hopefully when I revisit it again it will start growing on me. The 4K picture on this I thought was okay. You know, it's a very ugly looking movie. I'm going through a run of these kind of ugly looking 4K movies. And it's probably the best they can get out of this movie. But look, it's not um, it's not what I call a showcase, a kind of showcase 4K uh, transfer. But um, it is a marked improvement, I'm sure, over that Blu-ray. I never had a chance to check it out. But um, I think fans of the movie, I think you are going to appreciate some of the some of the improvements that you're going to see with the 4K. But like I said, just uh, temper your expectations slightly when it comes to the picture on it. Right folks, so there you have it. That is everything that I've picked up in the last few weeks. So as per usual, if you did like what you see here, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you could do, leave a comment down below. 
And please share your thoughts on some of these movies that I picked up. I'm very curious to hear what you're going to say out there. And yeah, I hope to see you all again real soon with my next video. Until then, I'll see you soon. Bye bye.